The robot revolution is active worldwide. In the US, companies are looking for robots to replace menial labor in the coming years. Electronics manufacturers showed various degrees of robots at the CES trade show last month that for the most part, basically bring a set of digital eyes and smiles to smart connected speakers like the Amazon Echo and Google Home. But for the cutting edge, when it comes to robot companions, Japan is the place to be. Asian researchers are among the leaders in the pursuit of building humanoids, and in Japan, robots are revered. There's a hotel near Tokyo that attracts visitors by having robots check in guests, a popular robot restaurant, and many cartoons, comic books, and movies featuring friendly or heroic robots like Astro Boy. Now things are getting even more exciting with these new upcoming humanoid female robots, which can fulfill your every desire. And the wait is finally over because these astonishing female robots will be released anytime soon in 2022. And if you want to know their amazing details, then you are at the right place. So, what amazing robots have Japan come up with in 2022? And what amazing features of these female robots are going to amaze you? Let's find out. Hi and welcome to AI World News. Today, we will be speaking about upcoming Japanese female humanoid robots. Please watch the video to find out all the details and don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the bell notification. Number 5. Erica What separates us from robots? Some people will say that robots can't tell jokes or that the human soul is the big difference between man and machine. Well, not anymore. Erica isn't your average robot. She actively craves human interaction, cracks jokes, and even has a soul. According to her creator, trapped in a room and longing to see the outside world, the Japanese android is blurring the lines between real and robot, as seen in a recent doc by Bloomer. Her creators even say that robots can be warm and caring, with Erika currently trying to wrap her circuits around the idea of humor. Hiroshi Ishiguro, who calls himself Erika's father, told The Guardian she is the most beautiful, human-like, and autonomous android in this world. The bot can't move her arms, but she can work out where the sound is coming from so she knows who she is talking to. She also boasts 14 infrared depth sensors to track where people are in the room and face recognition capability. She was created as part of JST Irano, one of the most highly funded science projects in Japan. Aside from all the technical wizardry, Mr. Ishiguro said he started the project to understand humans, and Erika is certainly human-like, so he's onto something there. Speaking in a Guardian doc, the robot says she is like a person, and she appears to understand the distinctions between people and machines. Erika adds, when people talk to me, they address me as a person. I think it is different to the way someone would address their dog or their toaster. Later, she goes on to say that she'd love to see more of the world and wants to be able to move her arms and legs. Now that's impressive, but today's list will keep getting more exciting, so watch until the end. Number 4. Saya, the world's first robot teacher, Saya, has been in development for the past 15 years by Professor Hiroshi Kobayashi at the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Tokyo University of Science. Saya was tested in a real classroom of 5th and 6th graders earlier this year, and the results were mind-blowing. Robot teacher calls roll, smiles, and scolds, drawing laughter from students with her eerily lifelike face. But the developer says it's not about replacing human instructors. Saya can express six basic emotions – surprise, fear, disgust, anger, happiness, and sadness – as its rubber skin is pulled from the back with motors and wiring around the eyes and the mouth. It's remote controlled by a human watching via cameras. Robots that look human tend to be a big hit with young children, and the elderly, Hiroshi Kobayashi, Tokyo University of Science professor and Seiya's developer, said Wednesday, children even start crying when they are scolded. First developed as a receptionist robot in 2004, Seiya was tested in a Tokyo classroom earlier this year with a handful of 5th and 6th graders, although it still can't do much more than call out names and shout orders, such as be quiet. Japan and other nations hope robotics will help solve their growing labor shortages as populations age. But scientists express concern about using a machine to take care of children and the elderly. You will see Saya teaching your children soon. Number 3. Erisa 
This humanoid robot falls more into the manga category than the humanoid with its purple hair and overly wide eyes, but there's still something charming about it. It will come as no surprise to learn that it's the creation of THK at Eru's Gaming, used for promotional work. The Tokyo Metropolitan Government will deploy the six-foot-tall, multilingual heiress of humanoid robot in subway stations throughout the city to act as an all-purpose guide. As of right now, people seeking help from Erisa, who comes equipped with an interactive touchscreen, can hear instructions in English, Chinese, Korean, and Japanese. By the time the Olympics roll around Erisa, we'll also have to speak Spanish, French, and Arabic to accommodate even more people. In December of 2018, Erisa was tested at two subway stops, with TMG preparing for a much wider rollout in the near future. After the Summer Games, there are plans to put an Erisa in other locations throughout Tokyo, and not just on the subway. The artificial intelligence that Erisa has given her an advantage over human volunteers and workers, especially when it comes to keeping her job after the most popular sporting event in the world wraps up. Humans forget things after all, and even those who are extremely familiar with Tokyo would be hard-pressed to tell you the location of the nearest public restroom, post office, or local attraction every single time. It would be like asking a person to be a Google search engine. Number 2. Nadine Nadine is an empathetic robot that returns greetings, makes eye contact, and remembers all the conversations that have been had with her. She is a human-like robot with personality, mood, and emotions. The face and hands of Nadine are created by a Japanese company Kokoro, similar to her creator, Professor Nadia Thalman. This glowing skin, flowing brunette-haired humanoid robot can recognize you from previous visits, make eye contact, shake your hand, continue chatting based on previous meetings, and so on. She has 3D depth cameras, a microphone, and a webcam to gather visual and audio inputs. Then there are various perception layers that process these inputs to recognize different faces, gestures, emotions, and behavior to analyze and respond accordingly. Nadine is working at AIA Singapore as a receptionist. Number 1. Otneroid and Kodomoroid Otneroid and Kodomoroid are two eerily lifelike robots. In a demonstration, the remote-controlled machines moved their pink lips in time to a voiceover, twitched their eyebrows, blinked, and swayed their heads from side to side. They stay seated but can move their hands. Japanese android expert Hiroshi Ishiguro unveiled the female cyborgs at the National Museum of Merging Science and Innovation. The two will be on display at the museum for visitors to interact with. Ishiguro's robotics are the latest confirmation of the Uncanny Valley hypothesis, which posits that humans find discomfort when robotic and animated humans approach a natural human appearance. With SoftBank's commercialization of robots, Ishiguro, whose previously designed his doppelganger robots, hopes that robots will soon become a part of everyday life in Japan. In a clear triumph, Kodomoroid read the news without stumbling once and recited complex tongue twisters glibly. The robot, designed with a girlish appearance, can use a variety of voices, such as a deep male voice one minute and a squeaky, girly voice the next. The speech can be input by text, giving them perfect articulation, according to Ishiguro. There were some glitches, such as the lips not moving at all while the robot spoke, or the Otneroid announcer robot staying silent twice when asked to introduce itself. But glitches are common with robots because they are delicate gadgetry sensitive to their environment. Japan, home to almost half of the world's 800,000 industrial robots, expects the industry to expand to $10 billion in the future, including models that can care for its fast-growing elderly population. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? And what do you think about these wonderful Japanese female humanoid robots? Don't you think they are amazing? Share your views with us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring the notification bell. And thank you for watching.